Hi everyone, it's Lucy and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about apple cider vinegar. So many people are talking about apple cider vinegar right now. I mean, they're even drinking like apple cider vinegar shots in the morning. Apple cider vinegar is said to have many health benefits such as helping with weight loss, helping you have clear skin and lowering blood sugar levels. Some people also say it can help cure diabetes and cancer. For centuries, it's been used as a home remedy to treat certain issues. But are these health claims actually supported by science? Should you go run and get yourself some apple cider vinegar right now? So first of all, what is apple cider vinegar? Well, it's a vinegar that is made from fermented apple juice. So the apples are crushed and juiced and then yeast is added to the liquid. This will ferment the sugars in the juice into alcohol. And then bacteria are added to the mix in order to turn the alcohol into acetic acid. The combination of yeast and bacteria that is formed during this process is called the mother. And this refers to the white strands of stuff floating around in the apple cider vinegar. And that's where you can get the health benefits from. So now we're going to look into the health benefits of apple cider vinegar. The first claim is that apple cider vinegar can help you lose weight. Indeed, studies have shown that vinegar, not specifically apple cider vinegar, can help with weight loss. A study conducted in Japan had obese people drink vinegar for 12 weeks. I mean, they either had 30 milliliters of vinegar, 15, or no vinegar at all. And it showed that the people who had taken the vinegar daily had lower BMIs, lower waistlines, and lower body fat than those who hadn't taken the vinegar. Studies have also shown that having vinegar with carbohydrates can boost the sensation of fullness, which can cause you to eat less and therefore gain less weight. And specifically, apple cider vinegar is rich in probiotics with the presence of the mother that I mentioned before, and that is great for your gut health. And lots of studies have shown that gut health is linked to your weight. And if you'd like to learn a bit more about gut health and which foods you can have for optimal gut health, then don't hesitate to check out the video I made about that. I'll put it right here. Another claim that has been made concerning apple cider vinegar is is that it can help control blood sugar levels. And indeed, studies have shown that vinegar, not specifically apple cider vinegar, can help reduce insulin and, I mean, glucose and therefore insulin levels after a meal. And a study showed that people who had diabetes and who had some apple cider vinegar with their meals had lower blood sugar levels and improved insulin sensitivity. And this may be thanks to the acetic acid that is present in the apple cider vinegar, but that you can also find in other vinegars. Now, does apple cider vinegar help lower cholesterol levels? A study that was done on rats showed that those who consume dietary acetic acid, again, which is a, a big component of apple cider vinegar, had lower cholesterol levels. And basically the same thing was shown on rabbits as well. These are certainly interesting facts, but the studies were done on animals, and in order to be sure, we need to have studies done on humans. Some people even go as far as to say that apple cider vinegar can prevent cancer. While some studies may have promising results, nothing has been shown on humans, and apple cider vinegar absolutely cannot be recommended to prevent or let alone cure cancer. Another benefit of apple cider vinegar is that it is good for your hair and skin. Apple cider vinegar apparently enhances hair shine and strength thanks to the acetic acid and the vitamins. It can also improve scalp health because it has antimicrobial properties. So if you want, you can mix some apple cider vinegar to your water and use that to rinse your hair after you're done shampooing and conditioning it. Some people also say that apple cider vinegar can help with wrinkles or acne or itchiness or any Anything like that. Simply dab some on a cotton ball and then put that where you need to on your skin, but don't forget to rinse it off. 
Now, I really want to mention that a lot of people have said that these hair and beauty claims are true with apple cider vinegar, but no scientific studies back these claims. So don't go buying apple cider vinegar only for your hair or your skin. If you enjoy apple cider vinegar and use it in your salads, then if you want, you can test out some on your hair and skin. So now where to get apple cider vinegar and where to use it. I know that a lot of people like to mix from a teaspoon to a few tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with water and then drink that on an empty stomach. Um, I mean, if you enjoy it, I guess that's fine. But the way I use it is that I just drizzle it on my salads instead of other types of vinegar. But again, if apple cider vinegar really seems to be working for you and you want to get more than just from your salads, then feel free to, to drink it if you if you wish. Just mix it with water and don't have too much. The easiest place to get apple cider vinegar is online through Amazon. I'll leave a link of one that you can get in the description. And also, if you want to get it locally, if you want to find it locally, make sure that the brand you buy is organic, raw, unfiltered, and contains the mother because that's what, that's what will give you all of the optimal health benefits. And also, Bragg's is a brand of apple cider vinegar that also incorporates apple cider vinegar in different types of juices if you really want to get some of the benefits and don't like the taste and if you just rather drink juice so I'll leave that in the description as well and are there any risks to drinking apple cider vinegar well it does contain acetic acid so don't drink too much because that can damage your teeth and make sure that you dilute it in water if you want to really drink it straight up and also if you have high doses of acid it can upset your stomach and cause nausea if you plan on consuming it really regularly but are also on some type of medication always check with your doctor so what is the bottom line with apple cider vinegar well it certainly has some health benefits but then again other types of vinegar have these benefits as well. I mean, apple cider vinegar is certainly the most popular one health-wise, but really, if you don't enjoy it and prefer another type of vinegar, then just go for that, no problem. Please remember that apple cider vinegar is not a magic pill, however, drinking it won't miraculously make you lose all the weight you need to lose. But if you enjoy it and you incorporate it into a healthy, balanced diet, then it can bring you some nice health benefits. Some people claim that it works really well for them, so the best answer is just to try it out for yourself, I guess. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't hesitate to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye!